Every, uh, yeah, every Marty, and it's time for weekly pickups. I think 43 or 44 or 45, possibly. I don't keep track. So, this is gone easily. Shut up. Anyways, I got a lot of pickups for today. A lot of cool pickups and stuff. So let's start off with the biggest thing: a have, certain magical index. Have money, must buy. Shut up. Okay, I've been a huge fan of this series for a very long time, and when I found out that Probably because he there's a lolly there that he likes. Oh, shut up! Anyway, when the series came out, I was really hyped. Uh, so, you know, now I got the first disc. I, I opened this up, I got this on Wednesday, and then uh, my friend held the second, it's called the second part of it, which is what I'm going to open up for you today. So, let's open it up. Open it up. We should have a timer to how, how fast you open this. It's a pretty sick cover, too. So is your favorite character? Huh? Female character. Favorite female character. Misaka Mikoto. You say that weirdly, but okay. I say a lot of things weirdly. Oh yeah, do remember the, that uh, Omamari thing? Shut up. Say it again? Omamari Himari. Good. Oh. He had practice all over the time, man. I had no practice whatsoever. Anyways, oh, uh, there's okay, the, that can be taken on a lot of things. The back, it's a really cool. It's got really cool. I'll show the images in the front. This is probably my favorite picture throughout, like any of the fan images or just like overall images that the anime created because it has all the characters on it, or all the important characters. So. Important characters? You mean main characters? Main characters. Is fine. We remove this image. We see Toma with Index and like. I can't remember what her name is. Failed. Fuck you, you call yourself a fan. I am a fan. She doesn't come up that often in the story. She and came up at the, at the, at the very um, first end and, and the second end. We got an image back here, but I will not show that. Um, so why, why why won't you show it? Uh, so what's cool about about this um, the first season, it came with... This collector's box? Yeah, yeah, it came with this collector's box. That's basically, I'm assuming it's just, it was just a box meant for, uh, meant to hold season two when you got it. You know? So it's just a blank gray box with the same picture on it. And, uh, just so you may not have seen it, here's the first, first disc and there's the back. So, I'm gonna try to fit this whole DVD in here. I don't know whether it's supposed to have the sleeve too, but I'm gonna try it with the sleeve and then just see what happens. Why don't you just put it on the original sleeve? It won't fit in like that. Yeah. And maybe just take it out like and take out the sleeve. Let's Critical see. thing is bad. So, um, no, not that one. Put it back. I get what you mean. This to there. Yeah, anyways. So, and put, put this in. It in. Like this. And then get this in like this. So, it's both part one and part two. Uh, this is a bit out here because of... Uh, to it because it has, you know, it has the cover, but it still looks pretty cool. And uh, now I got the whole series. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with season this. one series. Yeah, the complete season one. So that's pretty cool. Next up is my second DVD. I found this at Walmart for an incredible steal. It's a fifteen dollar uh, Vincent Price collection. Just five movies. They're fairly simple. What you see? Watch you uh, see that after it's for five bucks. You know, but I love Vincent Price, and these were the these were the only Vincent Price movies that I like I had not previously collected. So I'm going to open it up. Seems to be a weird slide out case um, for this one, which is pretty odd. Um, so just slide like that. Is that the way it goes? Yeah, it is. Should just should slide it right there. There we go. Oh, cool. So it comes in with like it comes in threes. Oh, no, it comes in full DVD case, never mind. So this is, this has Tale of Terror, The Pit and the Pendulum, and The Raven, which also stars Boris Karloff, which is pretty awesome. So, let's open this up. Also, it's got a funny bit of info, The Raven, with uh, Price and Boris Karloff, also had one of uh, Jack Nicholson's first, you know, first uh, roles in film. Uh, okay, so it's all on one disc. Thankfully, it's not like those. It's not like recycled cheap, disc. Yeah, it's not like one of those cheap double-sided, like one on each side. This one has a like cover art, and I like I like the way that they did that. 
so it's pretty cool. It's a bit plain, but okay, that's all right. It's a bit plain, but like it's just all on one disc. You don't have to switch sides and shit. That was uh, second disc. Fuck. Uh, okay, knock it off. Second disc, the uh, Mask of Death, uh, of the Red Death, and uh, the Madhouse. It doesn't have that horror thing. Another blank disc, uh, but thankfully not a recycled, not a recycled one. Um, and there you go. It's nice. So that's cool. It's a cool set to have. Um, like this. So, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, at least five movies. That's the price. So that's pretty cool. Next up are the video games. I've been really into Lord of the Rings recently. Uh, I previously collected Aragon's Quest for PS3. and this Horrible is the, game. Shut up. And this is the second uh, Lord of the Rings game that was released for PS3. So it's okay. You know, you gotta bought the collector's edition. Yeah, but I mean, you know, what's... You know, were criticizing it about a, a bit. It was cool. The only for, the only reason why you bought this is because The Hobbit was in, was in the movie theaters. It wasn't that. Really? Okay, I'll admit. The Hobbit, the fact that it was in theaters makes me hype. You went on the happy train. Yeah, for Lord of the Rings. But I've also been getting into it, and, you know, I've wanted to start collecting the movies and the games and shit for a while. You actually get into get in the, um, the, I guess, the worst Lord of the Rings game. Uh, one thing I do hope they do, um, here's a really simple disc and cover. You know, it's a very simple game, but the back. It's, it, not, uh, but uh, at least it's a lot more serious and well, like well illustrated than um, Aragon's Quest. The second one is Prototype. I got it on a deal from uh, a Prototype too. I got it on a deal from uh, it's called, from uh, Best Buy. They were selling it for twenty twenty dollars uh, when it would usually brand new be be about thirty forty dollars. So that's probably happened. returned. Half price. And Probably returned there. No, no, it wasn't returned. Remember, we saw the we saw the thing at Best Buy. And it was nah, I'm just. So happy I finally got this, but I still got to beat the first one. So. So you just have to. It's just gonna stay there, collect us before you finish it. Either that. Which or will, which you will never finish it. Shut up. Anyways. There's that. Yep. Um, you have a code to unlock hard and shield vehicle armor. I'm not going to show that. Just because, you know, it's code. So, there's that. The code's in the back, by the way. No. So. <laughs> Shows the back again. <laughs> Anyways, so that's cool. I don't really get why these PS3 games have been needing sleeves lately. It makes no sense to me. I find it really It makes it special. Yeah, it makes it special to have a freaking sleeve. Who gives a crap? But for having blank cases. Anyway, so that's... Blank cases uh, and no games in them? Or not, <laughs> what? Up. Anyway, last thing is just a manga volume I picked up. Uh, I used to have this guy. I used to gift card I got for Christmas, so I got this basically for free. It is Inuyasha Viz Big uh, Volume 1. The first three volumes. And uh, let's take a look. I've been really getting back into Inuyasha since it was the first anime that got me into anime. And... Uh, you know, I'm really digging it, so uh, I decided, hey, pick it up, start reading the new Ash manga. Anyway. And what a way to start it in the, when it's the whole series already ended in English, too. Yeah, I know, but still, that's a good thing. Again, you went on that, 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 that freaking happy train. You know. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all around soon.